Tomorrow night, the Jacksonville Symphony is inviting the community to help kick off its new season. They're doing this by holding a series of free community concerts. Joining us this morning, President and CEO of the Jacksonville Symphony, Stephen Libman. Good morning to you, Stephen. Good morning. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. So this is going to be, let's just say it, music to a lot of people's ears because they're able to see the Jack Symphony, which is incredible, and they're able to do it without shelling out any money. That's right. We decided it was very important to open up our first concerts to the community for free. And what's special about this weekend is that we are honoring our essential and frontline workers who have been working selflessly over the past 18 months to keep all of us safe. Yeah, they are so amazing. We know them. We love them. So the symphony was one of the only orchestras that was able to keep performing last season. Tell me how that was done. Well, uh, we did perform over 70 concerts to 38,000 people. We did it in a very safe, physically distanced uh, manner. We had we sold 33% of the seats. We kept everyone six feet apart. We, uh, we did it by working carefully. I told my team mathematics matters. We used uh, geometry and algebra and made sure that even the orchestra members were separated on stage. We put a plan together and this community demonstrated that they had a passion for live symphonic music. And as you mentioned, we ended up being one of only 10 orchestras in the entire country to perform last year. Wow, that's incredible. So that goes back to the old saying, where there's a will, there's a way. Absolutely, that's right, that's and correct. Stephen, we're still dealing with COVID. Unfortunately, it has not gone away. What's the season going to look like to make sure that everyone in the symphony and in the audience is safe? That's a great question. Thank you. You're right. We're still dealing with COVID. So what that means when you come into the Times Union Center and Jacoby Hall, everyone still needs to be in a mask. Uh, our members of our orchestra will be masked. The audience will be masked. And we have not had any resistance to that. Everyone accepts that and life, life goes on. The big difference is we're not doing physical distancing, but we are still requiring masks. And again, there's been zero resistance to that. Everybody understands the, the issue. Absolutely. Safety first. Let's talk yes. about the lineup because the symphony is always changing the way that it does things, keeping, <laughs> keeping the music fresh. So it's not like you're going to the same show year in right. and year out. That is, that is correct. We, we have classical concerts throughout the year. Uh, this year, what's special on the classical side is uh, we have five Mozart piano concertos. A donor, Ann Hicks, very generously donated a million dollars to the symphony. And with that, we purchased uh, about a $200,000 Steinway concert grand piano. Uh, the old one was 22 years old. It's time for a, for a, for a fresh one just last weekend. Uh, Daniel Shu played on that new piano, but we are announcing the David M. Hicks Mozart Piano Concerto Series. Uh, we're also uh, closing the classical season with Beethoven's Ninth Ode to Joy, and that's in June. We're also featuring Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring in March. We have 11 different concerts. What's also unique in the classical series is we are commissioning an original composition for the Jacksonville Symphony. Mm. The composer Tarek O'Regan, and we will produce his piece in, uh, in June. And then we have a whole season of pops programming. Everything from uh, the music of Stephen Schwartz, who created Wicked, to patriotic pops, holiday pops, a tribute to Elton John, a tribute to the music of Queen. Uh, we also will be producing an opera, La Boheme this year, which is going wow. to be <laughs> incredible. And we're using some artists from the Metropolitan Opera. What we a have, lineup. Hey, I, I, we're running out of time, and I know that our uh -oh. viewers want to know how they can find out more and to get those tickets for the performances, the concerts, which are yes, tomorrow absolutely. and Saturday at 730. they got to sign up, too. You don't just show up. Right, you've got to show up. And you can also call our box office at 904 354 five five four seven so that's another way to get tickets 904-354-5547 jacksymphony.org thank you so much stephen libman uh libman thank for coming you. on i look forward to being out there and just seeing this incredible performance i appreciate it thank you for your support all right so the jacksonville symphony is giving away two tickets each day this week for upcoming shows it is just in time to get ready for Halloween. Defying Gravity features hit songs from the classic shows Godspell, Wicked, and Pippin. You can enter for a chance to win on newsforjacks.com. Just click on the contest tab. This runs until Friday.